I am so freaking excited. We have been ex we have been just just ah shaking so excited about this because we've been waiting weeks and weeks to get in. We wanted to have Morai do it because who better than the professionals to install awesome disc brakes? One of the great safety features that Morai's adding to our RV today is the Hydrostar disc brakes. I'm really excited because I'm gonna to start towing our fifth wheel and Chris was complaining that our drum brakes weren't that great. So we reached out and now we're getting Hydrostar disc brakes. Yeah, I'm super excited about it. The drum brakes just don't have the efficiency and just don't work as well. And they also require a ton more maintenance, which I mean, you know, RVs require a bunch of maintenance to begin with. Anything I can do to reduce that's a good thing. Um, we have the pleasure of getting an interview with Gary Wheeler, who is beyond knowledgeable, well beyond my scope. So we're going to let him explain best how they work and why. Let's talk a little bit about the electric brakes, the drum brakes. Uh, these have been worth in existence for old, since time began, just about. Your electric brakes, uh, of course, work on the principle of, of a magnet that's energized. When it's energized, it rubs against the uh, base of the hub, and that's what pushes your brake pads out. Uh, this technology was great when trailers were a lot lighter, but today our trailers, trailers are heavier than ever. And when you go through uh, a puddle of water, and those of you that are my age will remember our cars before disc brakes, where you had to grab the steering wheel with both hands and push down on the pedal just to get it stopped. Well, the electric brakes are no different than that. You have the brake pads there, they get wet, they're not gonna function to 100%. Another problem that you have is there's brake wires that are exposed. So if you go over a, 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 one of those uh, alligators in the road or uh, anything that could uh, yank that wire off, you may only have three brakes working and you don't realize that until you come to uh, a situation where you need them. And of course we know as uh, trailer operators, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when somebody's gonna pull out in front of you. Oh, absolutely. So the alternative to that is now the electric over hydraulic disc brakes. Electric over hydraulic disc brakes, uh, we use of course the Hydrostar version of it. Uh, this is the actuator that's used. And this is actually uh, mounted in the trailer. Uh, what it is, is just in layman terms, it's a uh, uh, variable speed pump slash master cylinder. Uh, your brake controller actually regulates the amount of voltage going back to the pump. The more voltage going back there, the faster the pump runs, the greater the pressure. Uh, at a full 12 volts, this will generate about 1,600 PSI oh, of wow. braking pressure. And that's controlled basically by your gain on your brake controller and the, of course, amount of pressure you put on your brakes, right? Exactly, exactly. Uh, a nice feature about this, you know with the electric brakes, when you're going through the city, you have to turn the gain down so they don't grab on you. Yes. And hopefully you don't forget to turn it back up when you get on the road. But you do have to adjust for road and city. Once you set the gain on the actuator, that's all you have to do. It's good for a highway or city. Oh, that's really it's nice. It's a much smoother stopping brake. Uh, of course, with disc brakes, you will look at the difference between the actuator and then just a backing plate. From a weight standpoint, very light. Oh, from a hub and rotor, very heavy. You'll notice it's got a split rotor on it with fins yep. in there. That's to help it keep cool uh, under aggressive braking conditions. Uh, even without that, they would be so much cooler than your, uh, your electric brakes because that drum just retains the heat. Right. And that's how you end up with brake fade, right? That's a term that they use for the drum brakes. Exactly, exactly. So another nice feature about this is the brake pads themselves. You'll notice that has the red color on it. That's yep. ceramic. So we send them out with ceramic pads on them. And a really cool thing, if you have to change your brake pads, you don't have to look for an RV shop you don't have to feel in touch with Dexter. You go to your local auto parts store. That's a GM pad. Oh, awesome. And it came off of an old Buick. So 
There are cross numbers for it. Very, very convenient. Uh, from a stopping standpoint, uh, it will stop you in about a 40 to 60% shorter distance in a panic stop situation. Jesus. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Yeah, that's the difference between rearing somebody and having a really bad day and just having a high heartbeat. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, they're, you really can't beat them from a reliability standpoint. Uh, there's fewer moving parts. And with this, from a maintenance standpoint, all you have to do is check your, check your brake pads. Uh, once a year, maybe pull the pins out, clean those, and put a lubricant in it. With the pads, number one, you have to go in there and clean out all of that dust. And we don't advise you using a uh, uh, compressed air to do that. Get a wet cloth and clean that out. Then you're looking at all the uh, components on it. Where are my brake shoes? Pads at? How's my magnet? If you'll see here, there's some pretty excessive amount of wear on that magnet. You know what's crazy about that? We've only had this trailer since February. Unbelievable. Yeah. So you've got that much wear in that short a period of time. So I have seen them where the magnet is just almost gone. And it's really, really going to give you some very poor braking in that situation. Okay. Uh, so you want to check that magnet. I've got this upside down. So you clean all that, and then at all the moving parts, you want to put a good anti-seize lubricant on it. And then the next thing you want to do is adjust your brakes. Even though this has a self-adjuster on it, you still need to adjust your brakes. So you have to get a brake tool and go in here from the bottom side. So it's a very high maintenance item. And if you want them to work to the best of their ability, which is adequate at best, uh, you need to maintenance these once a year. Mm -hmm. So it's so much easier with the disc brakes. It makes it pretty straightforward when you got to deal with multiple moving parts, concerns whether or not they're going to function the way you want them to, and 40 to 60 percent stopping distance improvement. That, that's a significant safety feature. And I like the fact that the disc brakes aren't directional. I know that these uh, electric brakes are directional, so you do have to pay attention whether you have a left or a right. Absolutely. That could be a serious problem. Absolutely. And then common sense will tell you also, by pushing the pads out versus clamping mm -hmm. on disc brakes, right. just a lot more efficient. There's yeah. a reason why the manufacturers have uh, gone from uh, drum brakes to disc brakes on all their vehicles. Yeah. Yep. I guess you could look at it from like the human standpoint. If you were to try to grab something and push away versus grabbing something and squeezing as hard as you can, squeezing is going to be a significant more grip strength than trying to shove away from you. Great analogy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, as you mentioned earlier, the weight of the trailers these days, 16.5 for ours. I mean, that's. I know they're adequate and they're, they meet the requirements of safety, but for us, we wanted the best of the best. And, you know, that's where the Hydrostar really was a must for us. And Martha wants to start towing more again and actually start towing the fifth wheel. And she's like, I need to make sure that I can stop when I need to stop. Well, I know I pull myself and I normally uh, uh, pull anywhere from uh, 20 to 30,000 miles a year. Yeah. Uh, over the years, I've probably right around 200,000 or wow. more. Uh, it's uh, prior to the uh, disc brakes. Uh, if I saw a stoplight coming up, I would start slowing down about three miles away, just knowing that it's going to wait until I get there and turn red. Right. Uh, I have the assurance now that I can stop it like a car or truck. And yeah. There's no leading on that. Yeah. And so why does more I choose the Hydrostar brakes? Why this system? Well, we've been using the Hydrostar actuator uh, for many, many years. And we have found that it is just incredibly durable and trustworthy. Uh, I can only think of since 99, maybe a handful of, uh, of uh, warranty issues with it. And when you do have a warranty issue, Hydrostar does a wonderful job reacting to that. Yeah. And now if the average consumer that doesn't live in Elkhart or have the option to come up here, 
if they buy the Hydrostar kit from e-trailer, it's the same set that you guys are putting on here, right? Exactly. It's kind of, in all seriousness, it's kind of wild that we're already seeing this. We literally just picked this up in February. They're just not that great. They really are. I was telling her, because and uh, the reason she hasn't towed so far is my fault, because I'm like, these drums suck. When I'm cranking my gain up to eight to get this thing to stop, and she's like, well, I don't want to drive it like that. And I'm like, no, I get it. With 16,000 pounds behind you, no. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I could tell that the trailer pushes us a lot. And like you said, there's times where I'm driving around town and it's, Arr! and you're like, Jesus, can you just... One way or the other, right? Either don't work or do, but just keep me consistent. And that's what you'll get with these disc brakes. You're going to absolutely love this. There's yeah. no doubt in my mind. And then, I mean, how often um, do I have to turn them every year? Like, or, oh no, you probably never have to. If you're not real aggressive on your brakes, which you don't want to be. No. Uh, just it's hard on the again, trailer. The, the recommendation for setting your gain on it is if you can get on a... Uh, not a heavily used road, mm -hmm. uh, preferably gravel if you can find one. Right. Get up to about 15, 20 miles an hour, aggressively hit your brakes. And you want to adjust it to the point that it doesn't slide the wheel, but it's just that close. Gotcha, yeah. And you do that, you're good to go. Yeah. Now, obviously, you can lock your wheels up. With it. But I learned something when I had to do my, or I had to get my CDL. Yeah. Uh, because of the commercial vehicle were over 26k yeah and i learned that uh if you start braking and the tire, trailer tires start sliding on you that it actually gains speed and you will more more than likely uh jackknife the uh fucking yeah. trailer traction is extremely important it is it, it actually makes a huge there's a there, that term rolling resistance is a real thing and it does make a big difference yeah, I used to drive heavy vehicles a lot in the Air Force and load planes, and so we had all kinds of crazy crap I drove, and oh. it taught us a lot, which was, I, mean, I appreciated that. Oh, absolutely. I'm glad to hear that this is just, you know, a, uh, you know, go over to Pep Boys or O'Reilly's and pick it up part. That makes life real easy. Oh, very much so. It's off of a, a Buick. Right. That's now, these, of course, are the ceramics, so that came off of a GMC truck. But... Yep, yep, real easy to match them up. And as far as maintenance goes, other than just making sure they're clean and that you have enough pad, it's no different than our truck in that sense, right? Not a bit of difference. That's going to be nice. Yeah, it's a, it's a great, great is there a Is there a delay at all between like when I hit the brake and then the actuator decides to kick in and... There's not a... The actuator will immediately start, but there is a ramp up time. So okay. you'll notice a little bit of difference. When you, but once that ramps up, not at all. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's going to shut you down. We're getting a disc brake upgrade on our trailer. It came from the factory with drums. When we picked up the trailer, it was already pre-built. Otherwise, we would have ordered it with it. But because it had drums, the first thing we wanted to do was get it updated because drum brakes inherently do not work as well as discs. That's why all major manufacturers of cars have already switched over to disc, at least on the front, uh, most vehicles. The drum brakes have a tendency to get hot and can fade and not work nearly as well. So by doing this upgrade, it's gonna make our trailer quite a bit safer. It's gonna stop better, and we're gonna have better responsiveness in an emergency situation. So because we have a uh, General Motors Chevy and we needed a cam, which is a switch that they had to wire into here. This is a cam that runs into our seven way, which tells our actuator to hit the brakes. So you have to have a cam in order for some models of the GMs to stop. So if you have a disc brake upgrade coming, make sure you ask about that. For us, we had to have the special box in order for our brakes to work. Otherwise our truck was too dumb to tell our Hydrostar to stop. We just want to thank Moride and Hydrostar for these wonderful upgrades. We're really excited to get on the road and test these products out. And these things are going to make our trailer perform better, be safer, and make it a lot less maintenance while on the road. So we're super excited. I can't thank them enough. Both Moride and Hydrostar did a lot to help us through this process. And I'll tell you, they're incredible. If you get a chance to come out to Moride Service Center and you want to make some upgrades, if you decide you want to do a Hydrostar brake kit on your trailer mm -hmm. and you don't want to do it as a DIY, 
I can't recommend it enough. I mean, Moride was on it. They had it done in a day with all these products we're talking about in and out one day. So definitely a great experience. Yeah, and it was fun hanging out too because they walk you through the showroom, they give you a tour of the factory, and they feed you lunch. <laughs> you know we're all about that food. This is where they service your RVs. And this is the main building. Greeted by a handsome guy. When you come in, check in. They have restrooms for you and a nice lobby. They have cold drinks, hot coffee, tea, and they even order you lunch. And then while you're here, take a tour because their showroom is yeah. pretty incredible, which is where we're standing right now. We're in the showroom. Yeah, it's and they have the latest and greatest products here, stuff that's not even out yet. and. It's yeah. awesome. And, it, and just know that when you come to their showroom, it's not like if there's a sales guy or gal in here doing high pressure sales. This is just like, hey, look at all the cool stuff we make. Yeah. And we're like, oh, add two lifts, add two lifts. <laughs> yes. But if you want to know more about these great products and services, we're going to link it all down below for you. Yeah, and most of the items can be purchased directly through either Hydrostar or e-trailer. Um, and if you come in person to have your truck or trailer or Jeep or side-by-side -side worked on, you can do it directly at the Moride Service Center and you can buy directly from them. Yeah. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch our video. We appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I know we say that on every video, but it means the world to us and that's what gives us the opportunity to keep traveling. So it's free to you and it's the world to us. So please give us a thumbs up, shoot us a comment. And if you have any of these awesome products, let us know what you think. And if you have questions, always ask. You know, we respond to everything. Thank you for your time. Yeah, and don't forget we're on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook too. So yeah, see us on any of the platforms that you're on. And other than that, have a wonderful day and enjoy every moment.